Yo, what's up guys, Fly here. I just wanted to do a quick update for all the major changes coming to Destiny 2 starting next week, Tuesday, January 29th. Bungie announced that next week we will be able to complete the quest to get the last word exotic hand cannon. This is pretty exciting. I'm going to be doing a full guy next week to help you guys get one for yourself. Alright, so some weapons are getting a major buff. So auto rifles are getting a damage buff. And when someone is sliding and killing you with a shotgun all the time, it's kind of hard to take them out with an auto rifle. So they're getting a major buff. Additionally, scout rifles are also getting a damage increase. The scout rifles are getting a damage increase for lightweight and rapid fire families. Uh, so you're going to be able to do a lot more damage with a scout rifle, especially in PvE. Surprisingly, sniper rifles are also getting a damage increase. This will allow you to kill a guardian using two body shots. However, if you do have the Izanagi's Burden sniper rifle, you can kill a guardian with just one body shot. Pretty crazy, right? If you want to know how to get the Izanagi's Burden, I do have a video guide. Some of the quest steps for the Izanagi Burden do require you to go into the Shattered Throne Dungeon, which is going to be live next week, so this would be a great time to grind for it. There's also going to be some changes to exotic weapons, specifically Telesto. Uh, <laughs> Telesto has been O. P in Crucible, it kills even the best guardians because of how devastating the explosions are. They're going to be reducing the PvP damage by a lot, so goodbye Telesto. Uh, trace rifles are also getting an increase to ammo because when you pick it up, you don't really get enough to use, so they're going to be adding more ammo reserves in the Crucible. So in addition to weapons, there's also some supers that are going to get damage increases and damage decreases. A lot of supers are getting a damage increase. For example, the Golden Gun, the Arc Staff, Hammer of Soul, Fist of Havoc, Nova Bomb, Hunters and Warlocks. I'm sorry to say, but your supers have become way too OP and some of them are getting nerfed. Blade Barrage and Nova Warp are getting a damage decrease because, let's face it, it's it's just ridiculous. Even if I'm like hiding behind a wall, I still manage to get killed by Blade Barrage or Nova Warp. So I understand why they're nerfing this. I play as a Titan, so I'm really not phased by this at all. As for Titans, Sunbreaker is getting double the damage and burn on enemies. As well, the shoulder charge super is going to be costing less on the striker class, which is awesome because I love shoulder charging into enemies. For warlocks, you're going to get a super duration increase for Dawnblade. Void walkers get an increased detonation radius as well as cluster damage increase. Uh, Nova Warp is getting nerfed, so it's going to have damage reduction in PvP. As for hunters, you're going to get a super increase for golden gun. So if you get six shots using a golden gun, you're going to have one bullet returned to you. For night stalkers, you're going to get an entire damage bonus for Mobius Quiver. You're going to have increased tether radius and lifetime. So it's going to be much easier to fire successful tethers. However, Blade Barrage is getting a nerf. The damage is going to be now more focused on a delayed explosion over a knife impact. So it's going to be harder to kill Guardians with it, especially in PvP. There's also going to be some changes for Black Armory. Ballistic logs will no longer be removed at reset. Weapon frames that are carried over across a reset is going to be refunded into either a ballistic log or a modulus report. Also, some lore in the game for Black Armory was reliant on RNG drops, which is a little weird. So they've increased the drop rate for Black Armory lore from 10% to 20%. And now, Forge Emblems are going to be awarded when you complete a forge. I'm sure I've missed a few things, so if you want, you can just head over to bungie.net uh, and you can read the entire post that Bungie put up. I'll put the link in the description. Alright guys, I hope I did a decent job covering this for you guys. And let me know what you guys think when the update drops. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.